Good afternoon, everybody. This is NCP. And please forgive the mess around the house, I know. <laughs> we moved. Um, we, um, we wanted a security system here. And we wanted a DIY security system that doesn't involve, you know, an outside service or a monthly fee. So what we did is we went ahead and got one of these systems here. Um, the, I don't know, Inklove, I guess, Inklove, whatever, however that is, E-N-K-L-O-V system, a, a W-10 or W-1 system, <clears throat> it's all wireless, it connects to our home automation, so we can just give a voice command for it to do things, <clears throat> so I went ahead and bought the starter pack, I was looking at my house, and I marked out everything, I'm gonna need 23 sensor or 20 sensors for Windows alone, <clears throat> and four for the doors, and then I don't know about motion sensors. What I'm gonna do about that yet? But this kit comes with um, a few, and this was I got this on a flash sale. Uh, I had it on my Amazon list for a while. It's about 100 bucks to start, and the sensors are about I think six bucks each after this. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take a look. I went ahead. I got online and downloaded the app for my phone. Excuse me, my mouth is dry. <clears throat> and uh, signed up for it, set the account up. I've linked to my, my Amazon Echo so we can do voice commands with a PIN number. So you just can't go outside and say, you know, disable the alarm system. And, you know, I haven't gotten into that yet. I don't know much about it yet, but I'll figure it out. But we went ahead and got the first kit, the first uh, W10 kit, I guess. I guess this is it actually. And it's got the, the main hub unit. And this is expandable, excuse me. This is expandable to sirens, lights, and everything. And it does push notifications to your phone. It has phone line backup. You know, we've got the uh, motion sensors, the infrared motion sensors. We've got five, five um, door sensors or window sensors, depending. I mean, there's special. Special sensors and strobes and all kinds of stuff you can add to this whole system. <clears throat> and so I'm going to start off by DIY on this. And if I like it, I'll expand it. If not, I don't know. I'll put it outside and do a uh, garage or something. But let's take a look at this. This is the actual hub, or um, I guess it's the actual unit. I don't think this has voice prompts on it, but it might. There's all the settings on it, which you can see. Like I said, I don't know much about this. And we got the phone lines in there. You got a like a USB C. I, I got a bunch of uh, outlets that have USB in them for the house, and I don't have any up here. But I got it. So we power it that way. Um, I'm kind of using a big phone to read this. I don't know what that last thing is. Gonna plug. Oh, speaker. That's a speaker system. So. There we go, there's that. So let's go ahead and get this all out and see if we can set it up. And um, I'll figure out a way to show you my phone, but maybe I'll do it in another video. No, I'll do it in this one. Heck with it. We'll set up in this one. It's got some remotes. Let's call this the unboxing. That's what we'll call this. Sticky uh, adhesives. Uh, the mounts for the, uh, the infrared. And it comes with batteries, which we'll... Okay, good batteries. I'm gonna use those. Don't know what that is. And some phone cords and a power cord. Did it have an adapter? Yes, it had a power adapter. So <clears throat> this is a unit. This is what you get. These are the sensors. I guess they already have batteries in them. And I'll guess you pair them to the magnet door thing. Yeah, oh yeah, it's magnet. I can feel the magnet in there. So that's what you get. Um, let me go ahead to the next video here. Um, we'll see if I can set this up online or set it up so you can see it. And we'll see how to pair it. So let me go ahead and I'll end this video here. And I'll put a link to it down below where you can buy it. It's just the unboxing of this one. And um, I'll see about pairing it in the next video here. We'll try to get those up today. And. Um, I'll be back in the next video real quick. I'll be right back. So let's go over the setup here. 
and see how this works. We're going to go ahead and just plug it in to an extension cord over here. Let me adjust this a little better. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this in so we can power it up. And I guess we'll just plug you in. Okay. So now it is powered, I believe. Okay, this will be just back. a little bit out of sync because I'm actually doing it off camera and I'm going to come back and do another one on camera so I can record the screen thing with one phone. Uh, my other camera just doesn't have the quality and doesn't pick it up, so we're doing it this way. So basically, we get this real easy to set up a sensor. We take a sensor and we go ahead and pull the little power cord out or a little power um, stop, whatever, tape, so it's active. Then you take and line up the arrows on it, okay, on uh, the sensor and the uh, little magnet bar. And put them together, okay. So now we go in here and we click sensor on the screen. So you have them lined up. And then you take and you hit the plus button for the zone, or two in this case. Add one zone, one zone. And then you just move them apart. Add successfully programmed. And that's all you got to do. Really, really simple.